Evolutionists claim that the Earth and the universe are billions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that God created it all 6,000 years ago. But evolutionists cannot possibly be correct. You see, if the Earth is really billions and billions of years old, as they tell us, then would you please explain to me why we have this? It is called the Young Faint Sun Paradox. We're dealing with the age of the solar system. You see, if the Sun really were, in fact, say, 4.6 billion years old, in that amount of time it would have brightened about 40%. Now, evolutionists claim that life has been appearing on the Earth for the last 3.8 billion years. But if that was true, in that amount of time, the sun would have brightened by about 25%. Now, the average surface of the Earth's temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius, but the sun would have actually caused a 25% increase in intensity, therefore an increase of about 18 degrees Celsius. Now, that means when we go back 3.8 billion years, when life supposedly is evolving on Earth, the average temperature of the Earth would only have been about a minus 3 Celsius. I think you'll agree that life could not have evolved under those conditions. In addition, we have what is, well, called the hemoglobin complex problem. You see, the hemoglobin molecule, which is common to our blood, is specific. That is to say, the atoms in it have to be in exactly the correct order to an error factor of one followed by 650 zeros. The T4 phage, which, uh, well, it's specific to a one followed by 78 thousand zeros. Now, these specificities could not possibly have been developed by what's called natural selection or random chance. It shows us that even in the 10 to the 18th, or 1 followed by 18 zero seconds that the universe is supposed to have been around, it would be impossible for evolution to be true. You really can trust the Bible when it tells you that it was all created about 6,000 years ago.